Okay guys, so today we are at Sam's Club. We will be bodybuilding on a budget. This is a very interesting subject that I've been wanting to put out there. It is hard to stay healthy while sometimes just being on a budget. Why, one of the things is, whoops, so fucking expensive now. But today we're gonna see cool little tips. All right, so hopefully you enjoy. All right guys, so this is gonna be our first stop. It's going to be the rice. As you can see here, it's actually $4.62 for a 10 pound bag. We don't use rice a lot, so it's not bad. As you can see, it's this rice. It's good, it does last you a long time, especially for us. We normally get more of the cauliflower rice. And now we have Pam, which this is what we were looking for. For two of them, it's $6. And then you get the double pack right here. This one's a little sticky to the thing, so we're just going to grab the other one from the back. And as you can tell, it's actually really good. It's good for the size, too, for $6. I think the most exciting one is, like, the eggs. It's 7.5 dozens for $6.91. It's a whole cart of eggs, and that's how you do it. All right, guys, so this is how my cart looks. So I have two stacks of turkey breast, one thigh, two ground turkeys. This is steak. This is almost three pounds. Then I have sweet potatoes, asparagus, rice, two turkey patties, ham, and then I found some cute pans. So, ta-da! Right, guys, so now we are here at home, and we are going to go a little bit more into detail about what we got today. And this was the chicken breast, where we got it for six and a half pounds, uh, one ninety-eight a pound, and it was twelve ninety-seven. It's very low in sodium. It's one of your best, meanest proteins that you can get out there. Twenty-four grams of protein for every serving is four ounces. I typically eat about six. That's just me. You can have more. You can have less. There are so many things you can do with this. So, so much things. Chicken fajitas, um, chicken bell pie, grilled chicken, like everybody else. I love it. Um, but I have too many ideas. But if you would like to know more about more of the grilled chicken recipes, comment down below. Hit like and scrub. And then we're going to go to steak. Steak is good on your days that you are no carb in it. Um, it's a good fat alternative for you not to pretty much pass out. But, you know, like everybody else, they love it. And there's so many things they can do with this. Um, all of these recipes, you can put them on the slow cooker. And it is amazing because set it and go. But, like this one, this one was the pound. Um, I don't always buy steak from Sam's Club because it, it's a hit or miss but this one is I don't know if the autofocus is going to get it it's four dollars and 28 cents the pound this is almost three three pounds no it's three pounds there you go round it off twelve dollars and seventy five cents not bad now this right here this is the holy grail for everybody that likes a ground beef ground turkey is your best friend meatballs anything you can do with ground beef you can do with ground turkey with a slight difference but my best thing with this one is a taco bowl with greek yogurt mm -hmm. if you haven't had it i will post the recipe if you want to but lord have mercy dear baby jesus this is the holy grail for four ounces you get 160 calories Fat is 2.5 grams. Sodium is very stinking low. And 22 grams of protein. Yeah. Any proteins I'm pretty much eating about 6 minutes. And this is my alternative for the chicken. This is on days that like, you know, once in a while we want to switch it up. Hey, yeah, might as well. But this is one of the things why bodybuilding on a budget was created. Because whenever I was going to the store, um, I was spending a lot of money. In, it might be a few cents of a difference, but it's not as, it, it, it's, it adds up at the end of the year. So here is one of the things. Right here you're getting, oh, uh, come on, Otto. All right. So here you're getting five, 
pound at one ninety nine the pound. Where at the regular grocery stores, you're you're getting per pound it's two dollars and seventeen cents, and it this is only a pound and point three of an ounce, and it's. You may think, oh, you know, it's just a couple dollars or a couple cents. It's not much of a difference. But after a while, it keeps on adding up. And this you can use alternative to this where it's in a small packet. Yeah, if you're in a rush and you need to get something, sure, why not? Go get that. But after a while, it's best to just use this. Here is my breakfast. Holy crap. This is a literally 7.5 dozen eggs large eggs for about what eight dollars you can't beat that and this right here is my turkey sausage patties I love these things they're a little bit high on sodium but you need it for the morning you need the car you need the carbs you need the protein to keep you going remember breakfast is the most important meal of the day if you don't eat breakfast you're slowing down your metabolism that's one of the key essentials that i learned at the beginning of doing bodybuilding i'm not i'm not a competing yet but i will hopefully at the end of this year <laughs> and one of the major things with eggs my husband and i we eat about nine eggs a day together so these go pretty quick but if you're by yourself I can honestly say these can last you about a month it just depends how you eat them if you do hard boils if you eat two eggs a day if you eat you know if you eat one for a snack if you have deviled eggs it's it's just the greatest thing and I always keep you know the ones that I'm gonna use keep them here you know it's easy access in the mornings you're still awake you're, you're not fully all there <laughs> not awake and like me I do fast cardio in the morning and then get up and do breakfast for everybody my side dishes come with asparagus and sweet potato you can eat sweet potato fries sweet potato wedges sweet potato mashed potatoes which I did last night oh well, they were amazing and asparagus asparagus have them they're good they're light um, you can have them pretty much with everything almost every day just drink a lot of water just tell you that you guys will figure it out why. <laughs> and these are eight pounds for about five dollars. Um, it's not bad. They're good size. Use them daily. Well, not daily, but mostly on days that you want to carb up. And last but not least, we have my rice here. Rice is one of those things that you guys love. It's filling. It's good. But for a cup of rice, one full cup, cook cup of rice, it's 170 calories, this one right here. I love it because I never have a full cup. I only have four ounces of it, and it is amazing. And it's filling. It really is, but it depends on the day that you're training and how you're training. I can give you guys a little bit of um, the details of what I eat on the days that I train. And, like, just if you want to know a little bit more. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up with the things that I do pick up just on occasions. So it's gonna be my oatmeal here, probably three bucks, you can pay it up at your local Walmart, um, anywhere pretty much. And my spinach. I pretty much use it on all my salads. But the last thing I want to show you guys is my receipt. So it does add up to 140. But mind the pants, I did pick them up. They were $10 a pop. Why? Because I like the pants and screw it, why not? <laughs> but it does accumulate to that. And this is for two people. It's not bad. So just, you know, check out your local Sam's Club. Check out what they have. Or BJ's, Costco, anywhere that sells wholesale food. Um, you can do it. Believe me, we all have rent, school, books, um, gym memberships, things that we need in life, and this is, to live healthy is not bad. Just think about it, every time you go eat, it's 
probably going to cost you about the same. Anyways, um, if you want to know more details on what I eat on the days that I train, comment down below and see you guys soon. Subscribe.